Okay, so now that we've discussed dimensional analysis, the next logical extension is flow similarity. Which is from discussed in section 1.8 of the textbook. So what we want to know is if we have two flows over two different bodies or objects how do we know when the flow is similar so by definition they are what we call dynamically similar if the following is true. The streamlines are geometrically similar. And the distributions of all of the non-dimensional variables, so v over v infinity, p over p infinity, t over t infinity, are the same. And there's a key caveat here. They're the same when plotted against common non-dimensional coordinates. So that means that if, say, we have an airfoil or two airfoils that have different cords well, in either case, if we non-dimensionalize the field by the respective airfoil's cord, then the flow field should look similar. And if these conditions are true, then we expect the force coefficients to be the same. So, we're still left with a bit of a question though, which is, what's the criteria to ensure that two flows are dynamically similar? is to look to dimensional analysis. So what that means if the bodies and boundaries of the in and of the flow are geometrically similar, and the similarity parameters are the same, are the same. So that means, for example, the Reynolds number and Mach number, then 
the flows are dynamically similar. To put that another way, if the geometry and non-dimensional uh, parameters are matched, then we have similar flows. So this is really the basis for wind tunnel testing or any kind of scale model testing in fluid mechanics. You don't have to emulate exactly the conditions of the object that you want to test. You only have to match its geometric parameter or its geometric similarity, as in take the object, scale it up or scale it down, and then match the non-dimensional flow parameters. So a different size is okay if Reynolds number, Mach number, etc., are maintained. And in fact, what we'll find is there are several flow regimes in which some of the non-dimensional parameters have very little importance. And so even if they are not matched, it doesn't really matter. And only a subset of the full range of non-dimensional parameters is important. 